Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. Going to do this week's 4 from 1 and this week's 4 from 1 comes from, yeah you guessed it, the good people at Vocation. I've got almost full kit arsehole on this one, just missing me Vocation hoodie. Um, <laughs> so let's dive straight into um, this review. We are going to look at this one and this is Vocation's Living the Dream. And this is done in collaboration with the good folks at Loafers Vinyl and Coffee in Halifax. I'll put a link in the, um, in the description box, a link to their website in the description box, along with the uh, vocation website as per usual. This is a double dry hop pail coming in at 5.2% ABV. It says so there. Best before on this one is August 24. There's that on the bottom. And this cost me, I think it was £2.80 off the website. And it is also on the uh, Loafers Vinyl and Coffee website as well for the same price. I, I like this can art. I really do. I'm assuming that's supposed to be a Halifax in the background. I don't know. Maybe somebody, and maybe is that someone from Loafers? There's coffee and there's some speakers and decks behind with a keg. Yeah, looks cool. I like that actually. So, on the back it says, this easy going double dry hopped pale, uh, pale ale will, uh, with a pillow soft finish is the perfect beer to enjoy the chilled out vibes that Loafers Vinyl and Coffee is known for. Good music, good vibes, good brews. Now we're really living the dream. It says it's hazy, hoppy and soft. It's hopped with Amarillo and Citra. It says Amaro and Citra harmonise the bold notes of grapefruit, orange and lime with a hoppy aroma backing, backing track and a, juicy, and a juicy crescendo. That's what it says on the back. There. So, without further ado, let's pop a top on this. Let's see what we've got. So it pours a hazy straw colour. Looks alright, doesn't it? Here we go, I'm not going to pour the whole lot in. So, a beer in a glass, what have we got? We've got ourselves a two finger stupidly poured density compact head. The head's actually got a nice little slope to it. It's not where I'm looking. Beer itself, it's a beautiful. The light's coming in here, it's vibrant, vibrant, hazy orange. If I put the torch through, we might pick up something. Look at that. Fabulous. That looks really cool. Really cool. Right, let's get the nose. Let's see what we can smell. Let's go for it. Bit of a swell. Grapefruit's there. Orange is there. Citrus is there. They're not in your face aromas, but they are there. You get your they, they are, you pick them up. It smells good. Let's go for the podium carbonation. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that's nice, huh? That is nice. Body is light, but it has a it has a, like a creamy, velvety smooth texture to it. Carbonation, soft. Again, <laughs> as it says on the back, easy going. It's really good. Um, I could quite happily session the arse off one of these. A four pack of these, no problem. It's really cool. Right, let's go for the big taste. Cheers. That's really easy to drink. It's very nice. Grapefruit, orange and lime, zest and pith. Tangerine and tangerine, I'm getting tangerine fruit and flesh. There's a little bit of sweetness in there as well, which is very nice. Um, Semi dry finish. Yeah, it's very, very good. Very nice indeed. Like I say, I could drink a few of these. Watching the football, watching some sports, 
rugby, cricket, whatever. Yeah, this is it's a it's a great beer for that. As it says on the back, just for chilling out and relaxing. I totally agree with that. Beautiful. It's very very nice. Vocation. Sometimes I hit and miss with their with their pale ales. Sometimes they've got no taste at all. Sometimes they're just the mediocre. But this is a good one. This is a good one. So I'm gonna wrap this review up saying that I'm gonna wrap this review up nice and nice and short, nice and sweet. So this is Living the Dream by Vocation in collaboration with Loafers Vinyl Coffee and Halifax. Five point two percent. Do I like it? Yes. I've drank it all. <coughs> what was in my glass? Excuse me. Um, would I buy it again? A two pound eighty. Yes, I would. Um, would I recommend this to friends? Yeah, as it's just so sessionable. I I like it, like it a lot. So if you've had this, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. I will put a link, as I say, to location and to loafers in the description box. Did that if you had the video? Did that if you don't? Subscribe down there. And I'll see you on the next one. I've got the Imperial Stout today that they released last week and the, the Battle Age Wee Heavy that they've done. So that's the four beers for this week's 4 from 1. So some good, some good stuff coming up. So stay tuned. See you on the next one. Hey, Liam.